Hi everybody, I'm joined by Leanne Ellington, fitness expert. She's got the down low on stretching today. It's gonna elongate your muscles and really help you feel good, loosen up a little bit. Right. And you have a budget friendly option, which is good for all of us these always. days. Always, I always have one of those, absolutely. So you've got these cool straps here. Right, and this is actually considered a stretching strap. If you were to Google stretching strap, something like this would come up. The um, other option is this is literally just a luggage strap that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's for, you know, pennies. Um, but either way, when you're inhibited by your own flexibility, if you're not flexible, sometimes the ability to do the stretches that you need to do to get flexible are a challenge. Sure. So that's where a stretch, a stretching strap can come into play. You can even use a towel or your own shoelace, and we're gonna we're gonna show these are on right. on the ground. So one of the biggest um, you know problems for people with low back issues is a lot of times it's hamstring tightness. Mm -hmm. So in a hamstring stretch, the thing that makes the the stretch so potent is when that knee is locked out and let me show you what I mean I'm gonna be stretching my left hamstring and what I'm doing is I'm strictly just taking the the strap and putting it around my foot and what I'm doing is I'm locking out my knee first so my knee is locked out as opposed to slightly bent when the knee is slightly bent like this it's not as effective of a stretch as when it's locked out so if I wasn't very flexible and I didn't have the strap and I couldn't reach my foot it would inhibit my ability to not lock out the knee and that's the important part of the stretch so what you want to do is you want to lock out the knee keep your head and shoulders and neck down on the ground and then just use that strap as strap as leverage to pull it back towards you and what you want to do is breathe in through your nose and as you breathe out through your mouth try and just go a little bit deeper into the stretch now we're gonna release out of that stretch extend the opposite leg out in front of you and now I'm going to show you how you can just take that strap and leverage it to Bring that leg to the side, feeling that stretch through all, all throughout the inner thigh. And then the same thing in the opposite, bring it across so that you're feeling that stretch all throughout the glute in what's called the IT band. The IT band, if you've ever heard of runner's knee, it's a muscle that attaches at your knee and your hip. And a lot of times if it's really tight, you're going to have knee pain. So getting into that IT band, which is a hard muscle to get into. So you can really get into stretches that you wouldn't otherwise be able to leverage because flexibility is the issue in the first place. Sure. Using something like this, a shoelace, um, you know, a, a towel. towel. I think that's anything. a great idea. Stretching exactly. is always the first thing to go. It and is. this sort of makes you feel like you have a trainer right at home with you because you can't you can't get those angles alone. Exactly. And recovery is just as important as the workout, you know, and this is part of active recovery. So you should really, you know, warm up, work out, and stretch at the end of every workout. Right. It'll help with that soreness, which will make you want to work out again the Absolutely. next day. It's so true. All right, Leanne, thanks so much. To get Leanne's free workout, this stretching, of course, it's on our website clickorlando.com it's free you can download it right now we're going to get a check on our weather